Ashley Renee, what's good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I show you how to live an adventurously green life. Today, we're gonna find out if it's even possible to have vegan Chicago deep dish pizza in all of its cheesy glory. So follow me and we're gonna do a taste test. So excited. I'm in Chi Town right now. I have been craving deep dish pizza for a long time. It was like the one thing that I really missed when I went vegan. So I did a poll on my Instagram stories before I got here. I asked people for recommendations for Chicago deep dish pizza. A couple of people were like, that's not even possible. Someone even said that's illegal to have vegan deep dish pizza in Chicago. But I actually got some recommendations and several people said Chicago House of Zod. And several people said it, I was like, all right, it's gotta be good. So the cheese is actually cashew based and it's made fresh every single day as well as the seitan. The seitan is also made fresh every single day by the owners. It's a locally owned restaurant. So they put a lot of heart and passion into the food that they make. So I'm here with my husband. He's a meat eater. So I'm gonna let him try it because I know if he really likes it, then that must mean it's really good. And of course, I'm personally just very excited because I've been missing this for a long time. So I'm about to put my order in and and we are about to dig in. First up, we ordered an appetizer. We got garlic knots, so this is what they look like. And I'm gonna let Carl go first because I wanna see what his reaction is. So let's see what he has to say about the garlic knots. Surprisingly good. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's not as garlicky as normal garlic knots, but it still has a good taste to it. Okay, that sounded very promising. I mean, as a meat eater, he sounded pretty impressed with it. I don't know. Let me let me try it because I know like the one thing I do miss, you know, from being vegan is like garlicky stuff because a lot of times stuff like this has like butter in it. So let's see, you know, if this is still pretty flavorful and garlicky. I have to agree with Carl. This is not all that garlicky. It's not as garlicky as I thought it would be. I really love garlic, so I was hoping for a little bit more. But it still has, oh wait. Mm. It definitely has an aftertaste of garlic. It just kicked in. So maybe it's like a pretty good amount of garlic, but I could have used this a little bit more. But overall, I think it's pretty good. Okay, so that you can see the reference of just how big and tall this crust is. Look at my finger. That's a pretty thick, thick crust of pizza. Okay, y'all, this looks so good. We finished the garlic knots. We enjoyed that. Now it's time to actually eat the main event, which is the Chicago deep dish pizza. It took 45 minutes to make. And because of the 45 minutes, I'm hoping that means it tastes really, really good. So we ordered the West, which has seitan meat. It has uh, caramelized onions, as well as mushrooms in it. I really, really love mushrooms, so that's why I got this one. And the caramelized onions sounded really good. And the seitan, being that it's made fresh to order, I'm hoping that the seitan's really good. Hopefully it tastes like real meat for my husband because he likes it when his vegan food tastes like real meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him try first. So we'll see what he says. And if he likes it, then you know, at least for you meat eaters, you know that this is good and this is worth coming to to try. It's 
good. I like it. Cheese tastes good, definitely. Can't just meat, you know, still tastes like seitan meat, but the cheese and the marina marinara sauce is pretty good. But I say this is comparable to a deep dish pizza, not necessarily, but it's still good, it's still worth eating. I would still wouldn't say no to if somebody offered this to me. Huge, y'all. Like, for real. Oh my God. Y'all don't even understand how excited I am right now. All right, here we go. Oh, y'all. Mm hmm. Definitely tastes how I remember it. I have to say. When it comes to vegan cheese, cashew cheese pizza is the best. The only other time I've had really, really good, really like memorably good vegan cheese was when I was in Memphis. So if you guys missed my Memphis vegan video, make sure you go watch it because you'll see the pizza place that I went into that made their pizza with cashew nut cheese and oh, so good. Same thing here. I am so excited. Literally, I've been waiting for this moment <laughs> for a long time, and it's finally here. I did not think that Chicago had vegan deep dish pizza, but they do, and it did not disappoint, y'all. 